only thing that's kept me around is my effort. So when you put on this, all I ever knew, because I wasn't a number one recruit, I wasn't a number one linebacker, I wasn't even in the media guy. All I ever knew was effort will get me seen on tape. Effort will get me noticed to get to the league. Effort would one day take care of my mom. Today I'm announcing something that I've been wanting to do for a long, long time. It's something I'm really excited about, and I'm really excited about the results that's going to come with it. Basically, I'm going to be starting my, my fitness journey. My weight is something that I've been insecure about for a long, long time. I used to get bullied as a little girl um, about my weight. Effort, which is between you and you. Nobody else can give you effort. Effort is with inside, man. And I'm still grinding because the next kid is talking about he getting too old. Keep watching me if I am. Nobody ain't got to convince me of what I do. I do what I do because I do what I do. Because I'm built from something. And man didn't create it. Every one of you men in here have that opportunity, man. But ask yourself the question personally. How much time you really wasting? For real. Or do you really represent this? I represent it because it's all I have. It's only brotherhood I've ever been formed to. That's why when I see y'all perform on Saturdays, that is my piece. That's why I run to the hotels. I don't need to talk to nobody before my games. I just need to see what I once came from. I said but I started off as 186. And now I'm 178. So I'm really happy about that. In these same chairs you guys sat in, man. I sat around the greatest athletes in the world. And then I found myself totally different because everybody was asking the question, who is this kid? I'm just sharing my story to tell y'all. Every time you think somebody got it good, man, they ain't always good. Somebody just, some, some people just make up their mind and they just grind and say the heck with it, man. Because sometimes that's all you can do. How much of our brains are we really going to use? I use mine to tell somebody today, September 11th, when I step on the field against the Pittsburgh Citizens, if that's what God will is, there's no other man out there willing to give up what I'm willing to give up. I said that in 1993, when I said I wanted to be the greatest hurricane, and the only thing that I got in the middle of all of that distance is the only thing that follows work, is results. There's no other blueprint. I ain't got no other secrets to tell y'all today. I ain't come here for nothing else but to tell you, if you want to do something, work at it. You want a better relationship with God, work at it. You want to understand why pulling your pants up is important, why yes ma'am and no ma'am is important, why being in the meeting with complete silence when somebody walks in, because it's presence and essence that determines respect. So all we talking about, the power of respect is never to disrespect. That's why I was the first one sitting down in the meeting, um, I ain't got nothing to say, y'all do y'all, I'm good. I got to listen, something out there I need to grab from it. Sitting on the same football field as you in 1993. And I made a quote. And then some people call it controversy, I call it confidence. I said that I might be the greatest player to ever walk up out of the University of Miami. I did not say that because I thought I was better than everybody else. I said that simply because I was willing to put in the work to now be back here 18 years later and tell you the only brotherhood I still have. Oh yeah, I weighed 186 and you've got I'm to gonna say put my yes weight to your life. right here. You've got to say yes. Yes to my dreams. 